Hi, welcome back to Jumpstart Co. This is Pamela Price. This video is going to show you how to create something called a combo box. And a combo box is the combination of a text box and a drop down menu. Um, and it has kind of a nice feature that allows you, it looks for items as you type into it. So let me just get into it and explain. We're going to be using three different tags an input, a data list, and an option. So Here's my simple example. Let's say that I want you to pick your favorite color. So I have a label here. So you start with an input element and the input element is going to be connected to a list of items. So I'm just going to put a space here. This data list is the list of options that I'm going to have available. So I've got a, a tag called data list and I give this list an ID. I'm going to have to give it an ID because that's how I'm going to connect this list to this input element. Uh, inside of the data list, I've got the different options and this tag is the option tag. Now I'll show you something kind of interesting if I go to add another one here. I'll put another value equals um, yellow. And again, the smart um, editors like to close tags up for you when you need them. Uh, in this case, it is actually optional to have the closing tag on the option tag. I know that's all a little confusing to hear. Uh, so I'm just showing you that it works either way. You don't have to put a value in here. The value that you put in this option is actually the value that will be displayed in the drop down. So, this list of items now, I want to connect to this input. So, my input element here, I don't have a type. What I have is list equal. And this value has to match the ID of the list that you want it connected to. Now, let me just show you this. I think it'll make a little more sense once we see what it's actually doing. So here's my combo box. When I click here, you see that it is connected to that list of items. Now, one of the nice things about it is as I type in, if I start typing in a letter, then I can find that particular option very easily, right? And if I put in, let's see, I have green, why don't I add gray since they both start with the same letters? And we'll see that if I start typing in G, I've got two possibilities, green or gray. R, I still have two possibilities. If I click on A, then I've got that particular option. So again, what you have is a combination of an input element and a list of options. And once you've selected that option, you can't go back and change it, uh, well, you can actually sort of start over by deleting what you have in there, and now you can change it to something else. So if you want to see the values again after you've typed something in, then you have to uh, clear out what's in there. And now you can see all the options that are available. So again, it's very important that you've got to connect it. Let me show you what happens if I don't connect it properly. If this value does not match, then it's not connected to anything, right? And so a very important thing about coding and syntax is that you might think these are a lot of details to remember. Nobody really memorizes all of these details this is why you always have a good reference site. For example, W3Schools is the reference site that I use a lot. And when in doubt about syntax, the best thing that you can do is take a few minutes and look it up and make sure that you are clear 
about what the required syntax is, um, the worst thing that you can do is just make a guess about what the syntax is because the error messages will often not be clear about what the problem is. So that shows you how to create a combo box in HTML.